All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the Hive. It's Barnet v Wrexham in the Vanarama National League. So 31 days without the internet I went. Did I miss anything? I was getting some funny looks by the local residents where I now live. I think it was due to the way that I was walking. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh! Uh, I gotta get home! Uh, 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 hey! Hey, this can work. <laughs> but I'm a lot better now in case any of you are wondering. <sighs> oh, uh, there was a there was a ghost. Uh, this, this ectoplasm. Did you see the ghost? It ran through here and slimed me. No, oh, that wasn't me. That was a spooky ghost. Have I gone too far this time? Fuck it, it was worth it. But anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get to football news. <laughs> So Dan Sweeney has had a midlife crisis and chopped his barnet off. Josh Walker is out for the season. We had to find it out from his own Twitter page. Mo Betham has been sent out on loan. Dave Tarpey has scored his first goal for Barnet. Our eight-game unbeaten record, considering only one goal in that time has come to an end. And luckily, I'm not the Bok. This man right here is, people. His name is Ryan Morgan, at Barnet100 on Twitter. And I'm his best man at his wedding. He normally leaves after 75 minutes. That's why we've nicknamed him Mr. 75. But he decided to stay the whole game, and we lost. So blame him, don't blame me. <laughs> So John still retires from football, and a month later, he's back in the game. I guess the old ball and chain got to him. I'm still blocked by Craig Robson on Twitter. The Sully Hole 4 have been dancing away after every game that we didn't concede. <laughs> How can I forget? Byron Harrison is still shit. <laughs> but now let's get into the other football news. So Wrexham sit fifth in the National League. Played 42, won 22, drew 9, lost 11, conceding 52, scoring 35, giving them a goal difference of plus 17, and they're currently on 75 points. And the last five games have been two wins and three losses. <laughs> Brian Hughes is in charge of the Dragons, and a scouser took charge on the 6th of February 2019, where he's taken 11 games, he's won 6, he's drew 1, and he's lost 4, and that gives him a win percentage of 54.55. <laughs> Number 23, Stuart Beaven, who has 5 goals and 2 assists in 36 games. The 16th of the 9th, 2014. Wrexham picking up a 1-0 win. Ray Evans with the only goal. Ah, 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 ah. 
So with that all being said, it's been a little while, and not only from a vlogging sense, let's get to the grind. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points, and then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Wrexham. You've bottled it yet again. 11 years. No nut is over for me. So fuck off back to Barbar Black Sheep land, so I can go back to being a teenager and look at the titties on the internet. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnett. <laughs> Starting lineup for today's game in a narrow 5 3 2. Mark Cousins in goal. Elliot Johnson is your left wing back. Harry Taylor is your right wing back. Cannon Reynolds, Ricardo Santos, and Dan Sweeney as your three centre halves. Andre Bucard, Craig Robson, and Midi Lito as your three centre mids. And Mason Clark and Call First up front. And this is how Wrexham start for today's game. Just gone 10 here, it's still 0 0. Couple of chances from us, but Wrexham did hit the post. We gave the ball away sloppily, pretty even at the moment. Open the 25. Still nil nil. Not much has changed. When we've got the ball and we've got possession, we're playing it around nicely. But the second we give it away cheaply, and we've done that a lot. Wrexham try and break quick on the counter attack, and they do look dangerous at every time. It's not much else has happened. Less than 10 to the half. Still nil nil. Feels like a pre season. Not a lot has happened. We've had a few free kicks. I ain't done nothing with them, really. Half time here at the Hive, and it's Barnet nil. It's Wrexham nil. It's just been a very pre season feel to the game. Not much has happened. Wrexham had one opportunity, hit the post. We've had a few free kicks. Not really led to nothing. Cut them opportunities. Shaq had a shot. And keep it dealt with it. Free kick came in. Robbo got up again. Keep it dealt with it. We just lack a little bit of someone that's just going to go create something out of nothing. We need something like that to spark. My first vlog in ages, and the game's boring nil nil at the moment. Let's see what the second half brings. Come on, Barnet. Minute into the second half. Barnet nil. Wrexham one. I ain't the bot. I don't care what you say. I'm not the bot. Cross comes. Whipped in. Guy's got up. Edda. From here, it looks like a simple save. Somehow it's gone into the back of the net. First minute into the second half. With 1 0 down. 60 minutes in, still losing 1 0. Wrexham are growing confidence now since they've gone 1 0 up, and all we're doing is short, backwards, and sideways passing, not going forward with it. Look like we're too scared to play the ball in case we make a fuck up. Everyone's going to get on their back. We'll take the loss then, shall we? Yes! Get in there! In the 70th minute, it's Barnet 1, it's Wrexham 1. Santos with a lovely ball back 20 yards, curved right into we're the We're going to win the league! Season. Shaq pops it over. 1-1. One, one. 20 minutes to go. Into the last 10. It's still 1-1. One, one. Since we've scored, we've upped our game. But there's still that lack of that killer finish by us. Five minutes to go. Barnett's 1. Wrexham 2. A complete and utter shambles at the back there. Of no one taking responsibility and get rid of the ball. We should have won this game. They were there for the taking. We just didn't take any chances. Into 90th. Still 2-1 to Wrexham. They just added on five plus minutes. Bukar just had a brilliant effort for about 40 yards, just went over the bar, but the keeper weren't sure about it. That went in, great goal, but we're still trading 2-1. So the game finished Barnet 1, Wrexham 2. That was a very poor game. It's hard to try and motivate the players when you're sitting mid-table. You're not going to go up, you're not going to go down. Are their feet up and on the beach already? Wrexham, a team going for a promotion, and they didn't really do much. We gave one opportunity in the first half, which they hit the post from. They didn't do anything else. We had chance after chance regarding free kicks. Didn't take anything. First half felt like a pre-season friendly. The only one that stood out in that first half was Elliot Johnson getting up and down the field. So if you thought the first half was poor, the second half weren't any better within a minute we're one nil down we've conceded after a minute in the second half just like we did away against Maidstone United so the boys are still with their feet up in the changing room it shouldn't be hard to try and motivate players despite where you are in the league if you ain't really got anything to play for you're still getting paid and we've still paid our money to watch you play but we gifted Wrexham two sloppy goals that should have easily have been dealt with I'm trying not to be too critical of the players because we just had a really good run but when you gift teams goals when they really didn't look like they was in the game that's the frustrating thing about it. We should have came away with more. Santos whips a nice ball in and Shaq got in the end of it and put it in to make it 1-1. But then we go 2-1 down. And that's the frustrating thing about this league that we're not consistent enough because you've got teams like Wrexham who are going for playoffs. They weren't actually special. So if we actually pulled our finger out, cut out the mistakes, took our chances, who knows where we could have finished this season. But after we've gone 1-0 down, it was like we was afraid to go forwards. We didn't want to make that pass in case we fucked up and everyone got on their backs. It was just like Sweeney's haircut. Short back 
back and sideways. My three games left of the season, and I tell you what, I cannot wait until it's over. Despite me giving you shit, I really hope you go up this season, Wrexham. Not because you've been down here for 11 years, it's just that I want local games, so I want Leighton Orient to bottle it, and you and Salford can fuck off. But no Tuesday games left. Next up, filed away, though. It's funny that I do the vlogs and we've lost again, eh? So don't forget to do the usual crap, like, subscribe, comment below, share, and all that bollocks. Make sure you vote for me in the blogging awards. So until next time, See you later. What kind of fuckery is this? What kind of fuckery are we? So I've been voted for this year's blogging awards. So to vote for me, all you've got to do is click on vote now, scroll down to best non-league content creator, click on Lad Math BFC and click vote. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate all the support. Let's make sure we win.